Everyone benefits when we reduce the spread of germs and infections. Registered nurse Debbie Mulligan of Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo gives encouraging news on preventing infections in hospitals and reducing the transmission of infections in the community and the home. I am ever hopeful that we're doing many things to prevent infections within the hospital arena. Certainly the, um, there are news reports and we do have hospital acquired infections and that's, that's a shame. But we have policies, we have procedures, we have guidelines and we have really remarkable people that are working towards saving lives and sometimes patients do get hospital acquired infections. But yeah, we do work against that every day. They have lots of bugs or pathogens or microorganisms out in the community and that are just as bad as the organisms, organisms we have in the hospital arena. And really the best thing and the most effective means of preventing the transmission of any bug or any organism is washing your hands. And so the message is wash your hands when you're in the hospital certainly and wash them when you're at home. Wash them when you come home from the grocery store. Wash them Oh gosh, if you've been into a, any public building and you put your hand on a hand railing, yeah, it's, it's all about washing your hands. Nothing has changed. It still works. <laughs> Children, by their very nature, they're tactile creatures. You know, they touch things and then they lick their fingers, they touch their eyes, they pick their nose, they pick your nose. I mean, they are, they are gross creatures. Nice kids, I'm sure, every one of them. I have three. But they are, by their very nature, they, they have to feel their environment. And so they pick up all this stuff on their hands. And their hands really are the major source of transmission for organisms. And you take anything that's on your hand and you touch your eyes or you touch your nose or you stick your hand in your mouth. And we call these portals of entry. So how to stop it? You have to teach people to keep their hands off their face. That would be the number one thing. Yeah, you could, you could interrupt that chain of transmission by washing your hands. But then you have those people that sneeze. You've seen this at the airport. You know, somebody's on their cell phone and then they're carrying their bag and then they sneeze. And you have to duck and cover because uh, that sneeze can go 20 feet and drop into your portal of entry, your eyes or your lips or your nose, and then you've become contaminated. Now, just because you've been exposed doesn't mean you get sick. And that's something to remember that you, not everybody is going to get sick every time. Those organisms that you're fighting in the hospital are not the normal things that you would come in contact with in your home. The things where you're sick, people are coming to the hospital sick. I don't want those germs. I don't want your children to have those germs either. So washing your hands within the hospital arena is more critical. 15 seconds with the soap on. The key is friction. The soap is good, but it just, that helps to loosen it. The key is to, you know, do that rubbing back and forth the back, you know, the thumbs, all the digits, but it's 15 seconds with the soap on. And that makes a hand clean. 99.98% .98 of the microorganisms on your hands are now gone if you wash them appropriately. The alcohol-based hand sanitizers that you can pick up at the grocery store or at the uh, drugstore, those are very effective in killing the microorganisms that are on your hand. So if you can't get to a soap and water sink, those are a great alternative to use.